I think there's something about adventure, exploration, going outside of your comfort zone that really makes you feel like you're alive. I met my husband in the Middle East. He tried to row across the Mediterranean. I was rescued by a helicopter. Played roller derby, broke both of my collarbones. Sailed across the Southern Ocean in the gnarliest weather I've ever seen in my life. I'll try just about anything and I don't think I've found my physical limits yet. How did my relationship with boats begin? Uh, that It had nothing to do with me. It had everything to do with Ryan, my husband. It was his idea. He had this dream of sailing around the world and I thought that was ridiculous because who lives on a boat? I didn't think people did that. It turns out a lot of people do it. A lot of people live on boats. We had a little bit of extra cash from running our own businesses and he decided we should go out and buy a little sailboat and just learn to sail. And it was through that process of learning to sail our little 34 foot mono hull that I realized it was such a cool way to travel. I think I was totally blown away that that was a lifestyle you could pursue, that you could just own your own boat, pull it up to these remote beautiful shores that you can't even get to by car or plane, most of them, and go and see what's on these islands or go meet the local people who live on them and, and live their lives going out on boats and fishing for their food. Um, it's, it's amazing because it adds another dimension to traveling. You get to really see places through like a back door. As we did more sailing on that boat, we started to really fall in love with the idea of like, wow, so we've sailed this boat from New York down to the Bahamas, down to the Dominican Republic. If we had a better boat, like where could we go then? That was the long-term dream. And even before we sold the businesses, we had decided we were gonna buy another boat. And then it happened, so we bought it. And we named it Cheeky Monkey. And we decided the next mission was to sail around the world and, uh, and we were gonna turn that little nugget of a dream that we thought of back in the old days when we first stepped onto our sailboat turn it into a reality and just go for it.